The Senate and House of Representatives Committees on Niger Dalton Thursday screened Loretto Nocho as the chairman of the Niger Delta Development Commission Board. Anoche, a special assistant on social media to President Buhari, was screened by the Joint Committees alongside 13 others for the NDDC board roles. Buhari had written to the Senate requesting the upper chamber to confirm the appointment of the chairman and members of the NDDC board in accordance with the provisions of Section 2, Subsection 2A of the Niger Delta Development Commission Act. However, there appeared to be reservations by some committee members against the nomination of Anoche, notably on the grounds that she is not from an oil-producing community in Delta State, where she hails from. And this is against uh, the NDDC Act, and consequently, she cannot uh, chair the commission. I will not sit here and adopt a situation whereby government after government will undermine the very act that has created this, that has created this. I don't mind if at the end, at an executive session, we say, okay, we should make exceptions for this. No, no, no. Because if you don't correct this, we'll have a situation where non-persons who are not from the Niger Delta one day will be nominated. The act is very clear. Those who should not come from oil producing communities and states is very clear. Not east, not west, and so on and so forth. For the position of chairman, for the position of chairman, we can make an exception. But for the other positions, even if we're allowing these particular nominations to go through, please, my dear colleagues, so that we save the integrity of the law we have made. When we had a reason to turn down the presidential nomination of this same nominee in the Senate, it was because the position for which he was nominated was the position of an umpire, electoral umpire. And there were members of public who were concerned that because she is a card carrying member of a political party and a presidential aide, an active one, she was not the best person. And in the Senate, specifically in the Senate Committee on Electoral Matters, where I'm also a member, we took into cognizance the concern of the public. Today, in the Senate, we are faced with a different scenario. She has been nominated as a representative from an oil-producing state and for the purpose of holding a political appointment. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.